This type on shift points, we seal up the windows in the cab of this truck to help make that vintage air system work even better than it was going to work in the first place. Thanks for joining. So something that dad has wanted to do since he saw this truck was to get these uh, West Coast. farm truck tow mirrors off of this thing. Um, it really does kind of mess every line on the truck up. I mean, it's just, you, everything's kind of smooth and nice and then blah, this big, pretty hideous mirror. Um, we didn't say anything because we didn't know. Uh, as far as, you know, there might be a personal connection in the mirrors or anything like that. And then <laughs> when we talked to Eddie about kind of next steps on the truck, he said, can you guys put the stock mirrors back on this thing? I'd really like to get those off. So we gladly uh, called up Classic Industries and got some stock mirrors on the way. So we went ahead and started taking this one off. Uh, we can see we've already got the bolts out of it. But to do that, we had to, where dad had to take the door panel out and then roll the window back up and then reach his hand back in here and hold those nuts or hold the yeah hold the nut that was on the other side of that bolt so now he's already got these loose and we'll go ahead and pull this mirror off and get this off and i think you're going to be amazed at what a difference it actually makes Man, it just looks so much better. <laughs> the ones that we got are gonna go, I think they hopefully will just go right into these screws here. That's a stock location. That's what I'm saying. I hope that's, I hope that's what the ones that we got will go, but it really comparatively, so you can see the line, you can kind of see the side of the truck here. And if we go back to this side, man, what a difference that really made. So yeah, we're gonna get the other one off now and get this finished finish cleaning this up. So you can see we went ahead and got the other mirror off on this side. One thing that we noticed and we didn't really pay any attention to is this side does not have the three holes in it uh, from the factory, which clearly means that this truck only had a driver's side, side view mirror. So when we put the new mirrors on, we'll end up having to drill some holes in this most likely. Um, so, but we got this off, man. Like I said, just getting that out makes a huge difference in all of this. Um, the other thing we had to do to this truck that I haven't mentioned so far, because I didn't really know how much work it was going to end up being, so I didn't want to get to it just yet, but we did. We are going to put all new, we're going to put the whole, all the new door seals in uh, around through here. We're going to put the window channel uh, seals in here, because, uh, and we'll go over to the other side and look at it, but, oh, cool, mud dauber's nice. Um, um, we took the vent windows out. We're going to put new rubber in the vent windows. You can see it over here. Uh, whenever I get done with this, I will I'll time lapse on that side. But getting these out is, is way easier than even my 86 truck. It's a similar process, but um, just a little bit more room to maneuver in these trucks. Basically, there's three screws here. There's one screw here that holds, a, holds the channel in place because that extends all the way down into here. And then this just rotates out and comes out all together pulling the this was all uh or excuse me this was all really hard and rough so we got new uh new window uh weather stripping to put all in through all of this so i'm gonna go ahead and pull the other side apart and go ahead and pull these door seals out too because you can see look look how there's just no flex to this at all it's all mashed flat they're all really old and have been here for a long time so it's gonna make a huge difference on this truck for that because when you would drive this thing down the road, you this window was basically doing that because there's no weather stripping in this channel at all. And that's what holds, supports the window in the front. So as you would go down the road, you would have basically that going all the time, which would drive you nuts. 
uh, and also with this air conditioner and you want to seal all this stuff up good so you're keeping any uh, of the hot weather out for the air conditioning and any of the cold weather out for the new heater so uh, that's going to make a big difference on all this so i'm going to go ahead and go over the other side and get it in the same spot that this door is now saw me get the vent windows out um, off camera because again not super exciting I did go ahead and get the door seals out there was some weather strip adhesive uh, on these I I don't know if it was factory I don't know if somebody has maybe just put some adhesive back on the stock seals because these things were absolutely ruined they sure acted like they were the old ones um, but this adhesive was heavily on here. Uh, I had to take a putty knife and go through and, and scrape it all off um, on both sides, inside and outside. Um, but, so I got those out. I can go ahead, I think what I'm gonna do next is take the vent windows and get them pulled apart. If I'm not mistaken, they have to be riveted together, but I've gotta get the old stuff out and figure that out. So I think that's the next thing I'm gonna do. If I can get those put back together, get that put back in, and then we can go ahead and start putting the um, the weather stripping in the door here too. Um, and then all of this as well. I have to get the new ones out and see. I know like for my truck, the square body trucks, they have like a metal, almost like a clip built into the rubber that lets that seat like over this edge like this. I don't know if the ones for this, like the new ones of these will have that or if we'll need to get some weather strip adhesive and get those held up in place with this. So I'm going to get everything out of the box over there and figure out what we've got and what we need to do and get these vent windows taken apart. Okay, so we've got the vent windows over here, uh, went over here to these channels. These channels had the, the felt uh, weather stripping that were, <laughs> well, they kind of had some of the felt weather stripping left in it. Uh, let me see if I can go over here and show you kind of what that stuff looked like. Uh, it's our, I scraped it straight into the trash can, but here you go. This is kind of this is kind of what we were dealing with here. This is just a little bit of basically what was left. And you can see here's the extra weather stripping, and you can, you can actually hear it crinkling. How just how bad it was. So pretty sure that stuff's been there for since '66. Um, so I got all that stuff scraped out. Now I'm going to get the vent windows apart. This vent window has a two-piece seal in it. You can see that there's one side of that seal here on this side. And then if you look on the inside, there's another one. And that's where that, uh, that's where the window itself seals up. You ask yourself why you do this. So first off that channel, like I showed you guys the other day, it has that window, it's letting that window just rattle around in there. So that's the first reason why you do it. The second reason why is these vent windows, you would be absolutely amazed at how much air will come in through these vent windows. When I had got my truck, they were completely ruined and I put new ones in it and it just completely changed the sound and everything. So the amount of air that's getting in, how much kind of air that you hear coming around these windows as you're going down the road. So it makes a big difference. So there's three rivets that hold this window frame in place, one here and two in here. So I'm gonna drill those rivets out and then get this assembly taken apart into its two pieces and get the seals put back in place. Probably might at least scuff and paint these a little because they are a little rusty on this side. So might try and do that too and just kind of clean them up since we've already got them apart. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these drilled out. So you saw us get it apart. Dad came over, the rivets had started to spin when I was drilling them out. He said, grab the air sander. Sand the top of them off and we was able to knock them out. So you can see this piece here is the first piece. Here is the rubber that we'll be replacing. That's where the, 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 open, the side that opens, that's where that seats uh, whenever you close the window. And then on this side is the other side of that rubber. Um, 
of course we're trying to be extremely extremely careful with these we don't want to break this glass you can buy it but don't want to have to because this stuff's in really great shape just needs a little cleaning actually and everything will be good with it uh so i'm going to go ahead and take this out so this spring has to come out uh, there's a nut here the spring comes off and that gets this glass out of here i'll get it completely out of here and don't chance breaking it or doing anything crazy to it and then get this old rubber pulled out so the next thing we have to do to get the uh, the new rubber seals in place is to remove the old ones off of this channel that runs down the channel there are four rivets here that rivet that in place uh, there are holes in the new ones for the new rivets uh, did not come with any rivets, so we'll have to get. We have some here. We'll have to use. Then we'll go ahead and drill these four out and get this removed. I already did this to one of them off camera, so that one's out. And you can see this channel here. So that's in these four holes is where it goes. So we'll get this one taken off, and then get the windows out of the the C channel, if you will. And uh, yeah, that's that's just what we gotta do next. We're working on getting this vent window apart still. So we got the spring and everything off of this. Uh, there's a nut that goes on that. And then the last thing that we have to do is we have to drill out or sand off that rivet right there. That'll let us get this glass fully out. And then it'll be time to remove that from the frame itself. You can see we've already done one of them, got it apart. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and get this one taken apart too. There we go. Now it's apart. Definitely think we need to take and at least apply a little bit of paint to, to these frames. So good thing I've already got that masking tape on there. So I got the rubber out here. Somehow this rubber still has kind of a, I would say a little bit of life in it. It's still kind of springy. It's not just super, super brittle and rough, but some of it is, is really bad. You can kind of see all of this here. But this is the two pieces and the frames. Frames are in really great shape. Um, so we get this and we've got the new stuff over here. Um, clean these up just a little bit and uh, get that new stuff in. Spray a little paint on the frames and we should be good to go. So I showed you guys that I was going to reboot, that we're working on rebuilding the vent windows. Um, I had, we'd stopped on that just for a little while. Um, but the other thing we want to do is we're putting in this window channel here so i actually already have it in here this stuff just kind of and i'll pull it up i'll pull this down like this to show you what it looks like that it kind of does that so it comes kind of flat like this and then you fold it and that's kind of what you know c-clips around this around the window itself but you just take and push that up in place and the thing that i figured out this time this is the second time i've done these window seals on on a truck uh, did, did them on mine it didn't turn out so great on mine and the reason why is because this is kind of hard especially when you get down in here you can see you can see right there that channel is what allows that window to go up and down or holds the window in place as it goes up and down well getting your hand in there is really difficult to try and get this fed down in there but the thing i figured out this time was to start here get it to there and then just take the unfolded part of that and run it down in this door channel get it to here get all that fixed like it needs to be and then just roll up the window i'm gonna take my elbow because this channel is not here to keep it supported so we don't want to drop the glass but roll that window up once you get it rolled up this will be pushed back in place of course once this comes back um but you have all this room suddenly there's no glass here and that makes running this down through here so much easier. And if you can kind of contort your elbow 
you know, completely dislocate it and get it in there and you can actually reach your hand down in there and feed that completely down into that channel like it needs to be. So that was kind of a aha moment when I was working on this. It really made that way, way, way easier and everything sets in the channel like it's supposed to and it's gonna look way better and function way better. I did also get the rubber in the, the C channels of the frame here. So this stuff has, you saw this frame kind of has a U shape to it and this rubber, the rubber pieces themselves kind of have like a T shape to them. And you have to get one side of that started. I have a, a screwdriver here that's got a, a really blunt edge on it. And I just take some CRC, uh, CRC lubricant. It's kind of like WD-40. I spray that on it just to help that just to make sure it doesn't tear or do anything crazy. Take that real blunt screwdriver, get one edge seated in the channel, and then just work your way around it and push that in place too. Again, kind of a learning from the first time I did this, and this is a way, way easier. A little bit of lubrication on that stuff really helps out, um, gets these put in place. Uh, the next thing we have to do with this stuff is to get these rubber seals uh, riveted in place here. I think it actually goes like this. Yeah, so um, so we'll get these riveted in place, but before I do any of that, I'm gonna take and kind of scuff this a little, and at least put a little bit of black paint on that, just to just to make that a little better, because it's a little rough and rusty. Uh, just a little bit of matte black on that will help the looks of it a little bit. But really, I was kind of honestly, I was kind of dreading doing this weather stripping and stuff, but so far, again, knock on wood, like I normally say. Um, it's went way better than I did, than when I did it on my truck. I've it's been some years since I did it on my truck, so I've kind of learned a little bit as uh, over time to kind of make it a little easier. Fortunately, uh, but so far so good. Uh, I'm just gonna keep chipping away at this. It's gonna make such a big difference getting that truck sealed because man, the way that well, the windows rattled and everything, it was so loud. You were losing so much heat, and, and now you'd be losing so much air conditioning. So, this is gonna make a huge, huge difference in the comfort and the wanting to drive this truck. Because if you sit there and you go down the road and the windows are rattling like crazy, it's just kind of makes it miserable. It's the little things like this that really kind of add up and make driving your old car or truck so much better. Well, Today, you can see that I am working on some weather stripping. Um, so I've got the vent windows tore apart. We have to get some rivets, a little bit shorter rivets that are gonna uh, let us rivet um, the rubbers into the vent windows and then uh, rivet that whole assembly together. So I figured while I was doing that, I'd go ahead and get the door seals put in. These go against the cab. Uh, basically, they, they glue in here to the cab and then the door right here seals against that and that's what keeps all the noise and all that stuff out um i got some of the super weather strip adhesive from permatex um we really like using all their stuff you saw us use the rtv and gasket maker when we were working on the the air conditioner so went to the napa store that's where i usually go to get all my stuff i know bobby's watching so i wanted him to know that i'm repping that napa so i went up to bobby and got some of that weather strip adhesive from permatex put it on it says to let that stuff uh set for 10 minutes before you put anything on it to let all the solvents evaporate and I assume that's probably why I'm getting dizzy, is those solvents that, uh, evaporating. Uh, I do have a fan over here blowing, by the way. But, so I'm gonna let that set for a few more minutes and I'm gonna get this put in place. I did go ahead and take the weather stripping here. It comes in one big bundle, basically. And I already went ahead and trimmed it to fit. You have to cut, uh, it's probably eight or 10 inches off of it, off the piece that they send for each door. Um, so I've got this stuff on there evaporating. I already have that cut and kind of test fitted. So the thing I'll do is go ahead and just start and run this thing around once I get, let this stuff finish evaporating.
Well, you've seen us working on the weather stripping and getting every, all the seals put in the doors and things like that. That's coming along good. Basically, the only thing I've got left to do on that is to get the vent windows put back together. Um, gonna get some rivets to get all that done. The rivets are kind of a weird size, it seems like, like an eighth inch is too small, three sixteenths is a little too big, so it must be some sort of weird rivet they used back then. So we're gonna drill those holes out to three sixteenths so that we can put those in, get that how it needs to be. Luckily, we've got a bunch of three sixteenths, so that shouldn't be no problem. Well, all right, so we have the vent windows. I have the seals in the upright posts. I have them in. I'll show you that real quick. So basically what we ended up doing is we had some three sixteenths rivets. You can see the four rivets right there. Had those the shortest ones that we had and it was the shortest ones that would work anything shorter and it wouldn't have actually grabbed the seal and held this in place but even the shortest ones stuck out just a little on this side so what we did is we just took our air sander here this guy and just sanded those down a little got those flush so now there should be no interference with the uh with the window at all that's the main reason why that needed to be done so that when that window pivots closed it wouldn't hit any of these rivets so now if we look at the three individual pieces we've got them put this upside down actually that goes like that so this will go together the window is going to go back into this first this assembly and all these pieces up here has to go back on it so when that's in this will be there then we'll put the screw in there's one screw at the top and then we'll rivet these pieces back together there's two rivets here and one there as you saw us knock out already so next thing I'm gonna do is get this, put it back together, get this assembly put in, get the glass in, and then get the whole, all three pieces back to one piece. We have a complete vent window now. A um, couple things that we did on this one. First thing is we actually put, because we didn't have any rivets that would actually allow, that, that wouldn't clinch this enough that would still allow it to turn. So we basically took a bolt and double nutted it there to keep this to allow it to turn, um, but at the same time not, you know, or, but support it there. Um, then the other thing I don't think we saw on a time lapse, we got the two rivets in here, so those are seated in well, uh, and that has this frame completely back together now. So the only thing we got left is to put the channel, uh, the felt channel in here, and then this will slide right back in place, and I'll show you guys that. Uh, but first, since it's exactly the same, I'm not gonna video it, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the other side done, and that'll have both of these wrapped up and finished, and I'll get them put back in place. So the last thing I have to do after I've got the vent windows in place is get the weather strip channels. These are here, these felt channels that go down the length of this in place. I've already had the weather strip adhesive sitting in here letting it absorb up like it's supposed to for 10 minutes. So I'll go ahead and get these laid into these channels and these will be completely ready to go back in the truck. took a little bit of uh, yeah kind of took a little bit of work um, we got all the seals got the vent window back in on this side I'll open this door up these I still I keep in this door shut as much as possible to keep these uh, pushed up against this first off uh, to make sure that that adhesive stays or that this stays up against that adhesive for as much as possible and secondly these are very this make this door very tight so we're trying to keep this closed and make sure these get compressed as much as possible to try and help that door close as you um, you know make that a little easier so you can see inside here vent windows are completely in all sealed up screws are in uh, the screw down here for the bracket that runs down here is all in place the felts are in this 
uh, or in the front and back of the window uh, and the run here and then this channel is all done i ended up having to take this back out because when i had put it in place at first there was about a i don't know inch and a half two inch gap between the vent window and uh where this started so i ended up pulling it back out and then getting it started right here at the edge and then running it around so i mean you can hear where those windows used to rattle like crazy they are very snugly in place now um, it's going to make a huge difference in this truck just driving it all together so that's one side done i still have to do the other side but honestly this one was kind of a pain in the butt and so once i got <laughs> once we got it finished i decided to just kind of take a break on it uh maybe that one will be easier if i wait till tomorrow i don't think it will be probably won't be but it's not too bad it's just takes a little patience sometimes i don't have it so i think we're probably going to leave this on where it stands today uh, we have a few things to kind of wrap up on this thing as far as uh, making sure that uh, the police configuration that we have is going to work uh, and all that stuff. But you've seen quite a bit on what we've done with this as far as getting these vent windows rebuilt, getting the seals down here on the window and all the way around this uh, and around the, the door seals themselves. That's going to make a huge difference. Uh, we did not get to put the mirrors on just yet, but we're going to do that here in a day or two. We have to wait for the rubber seals to come so that we can get those put on. Um, but there's quite a bit to this. I know that um, this was a lot of information, really more than anything as far as this goes. Um, but really, if you think about it, you know, you can get this kit that comes with the all of these rubbers and everything and the windshield and the rear glass seals for like 300 bucks that's really not so bad and it can make driving your truck or car such a make such a big improvement as far as comfort and as far as not having to hear the windows rattle and all that it's really worth every penny of it so while you might say well all you did was get the windows and stuff rebuilt i'm telling you it's going to make a huge difference whenever he's driving this thing like i said there's no rattle to this at all seals everything up makes everything more functional makes everything more enjoyable um, so it's kind of a small cost for a really big advantage to drive in this truck. So thanks everyone for joining. If you don't care, if you want to follow along as we go through the week, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook, try and keep everybody up to date on what's going on with, uh, what we're working on and anything that's going on in the racing world. Uh, if you don't mind, go check out our podcast that we do weekly, me and a couple of my buddies, where we talk about anything in the racing world. I think we're going to try and start adding in some topics about drag racing in there too. So Let's see what we can come up with and see if we can make that work. And I appreciate everyone that's joining. And if you don't care, as soon as I get done talking, right there in the center of the screen, it's going to pop up and it's going to say to subscribe to Shift Points. Please do that. It makes a big difference. It really helps us out. So if you guys don't care, do that. And we'll see you next time on Shift Points. Thanks.